Hey friend, welcome to my space. <laughs> How are you doing? So it's Saturday Saturday afternoon. Saturday afternoon? Is it? Yeah, it's afternoon. So I woke up like an hour ago. <laughs> Don't judge. I woke up like an hour ago. And it's because I slept like at 8 a.m. in the morning. 8 in the a.m. Yesterday I went for a night vigil. It's a Kesha, like the Catholic version of a Kesha. Kesha. I had never been to one of those. And let me tell you. Oh, wait. I went to the night vigil at Vincentian. Vincentian. And let me tell you what an experience. What an experience. I had such a great time. Full moment of honesty. I haven't been to church voluntarily, like to mass. In over a decade, in over a decade. So slowly, slowly, I've been getting in touch with my faith, my Catholic faith. But I've always stayed rooted in God and anchored in spirituality. But I'm just now getting back to my roots, my Catholic roots. As I've mentioned in the previous vlog, I started praying the rosary again. So yesterday was the night vigil. And let me tell you what an experience. What an experience. I had I went with my friend Wambo, but what I I hadn't asked her like what uh, what I, I didn't have a what to expect in my mind. I like to do things like that. I like to do things like I have a blank slate in my mind so that I can fully be immersed in the experience. And that's what I did. Let me tell you what an experience. What an experience. It was fantastic and I'll definitely be going back. I'll definitely be going back. There's something about just worshipping together. Like you see, like where two or three are gathered. God is there, yeah? <laughs> yeah? So what an experience. It was amazing. Definitely will be back there. So I came back. The, the night vigil ended at around 5.15ish, thereabouts. So I came, I got home at around 6.30, yeah, and I, I came, freshened up, ate because I was hungry, and then slept, so I ended up sleeping at around 8, and that, therefore that's why I'm up this hour, <laughs> I'm still so tired, but I'm feeling good, I'm feeling so blessed, and it's looking really, really dull, can I tell you something, yesterday, before I left, like an hour before I left, it started raining hailstones. And I was like, God, are you telling me not to go? <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. So whatever means necessary, I had to get there. But thankfully, the rain subsided and I was able to leave my house. So it's looking like it will rain again but it's good me i've been wanting it to rain because it's been so dusty it's been so dusty i hope you're doing well um this is how we are uh opening this vlog i meant to vlog yesterday but i was like i don't want to i just want to be in this moment fully i want to be fully immersed in this this experience and that's exactly what i did and i'm and i'm and i'm, and I'm grateful yeah so how are you doing uh let me know so let me have my second meal of the day because I ate at it. Let me have my second meal of the day. And then I'll see you. <laughs> Hi friends. So it is Tuesday night. Today I was up and about in the CBD. And in the morning, there were rumors that there was going to be some... There was going to be some mandamano in town. And I almost cancelled my errands. But in, later in the afternoon, I realized it was calm. Nothing was going on. So I went and did my things and then i passed by neighbors in town and i got this candle holder i found it so cute it says faith of a fear faith of it it's so cute like it's so cute and then i made it because kplc has been doing its thing doing what they do best so this is so cute it will <coughs> excuse me it will go well with my other candle holders that i have i'll show you if i remember yeah and I also got myself some banana loaf. I'm about to have a slice right now because the moment I saw it, I wanted to eat it. Anyway, today as I was in the shower, I was thinking, you know, some people in life, 
um, we live different lives and we want different things because some people are either running towards something or running away from something does that make sense you may be comparing yourself to someone who had to run away from something let me let me put this into context yeah so that it can make more sense this is all about childhood yeah there are some people who grew up in abject poverty like so deprived yeah and for them they made a decision that they would never live such a life ever again ever ever in their lives so as an adult they are constantly running away from something do you understand so everything they do all their goals their ambitions their everything it is to make sure that they never ever have to live the life they lived when they were growing up does that make sense they are constantly running away from something yet there are some people who envision a life yeah who want something so bad yeah I don't know i feel like i'm the, some of the people who are running towards things because <laughs> there's this life that i really really want and i know it is all in my hands so i'm running towards that does that make sense and for some for some people the motivation to run towards something may not be as strong as the motivation to run away from something so you may be comparing yourself to your very very ambitious friends and you're wondering am i broken why am i not as ambitious as they are it's because you don't have the same stories you're not living the same life and then there's some people who are not running at all <laughs> they're just not running at all and for the for the for the longest time i feel like myself i just wasn't running at all against uh, towards or away from anything i was just easy <laughs> i just was but now i'm running towards something and that's something i must reach it anyway i hope that has made sense so don't do comparison games out here just live your life the path that you have charted for yourself just walk in that path stop looking side by side saying oh this one is 10 miles ahead of me mm -mm. those comparison games don't work for me what works is i wake up every day wanting to be a better person than i was yesterday and that is what has been that just works i don't like comparing myself because you end up feeling terrible about yourself it affects your self-esteem and then then what do you achieve nothing so let me tell you something right now i want to oh i'm, I'm preparing for a trip i'm going out of town with my friend wombo tomorrow tomorrow night so i want to leave my house in order so i'm preparing some some things yeah so i have maize and i have oh jeez some beans still in the pod yeah so i want to work on this and there are a lot they are this much so i want to work on this and this tonight and i got this from my my man's mom <laughs> my mother in love <laughs> if you will <laughs> so this is what i want to work on tonight and then cook some supper later you know i want to make githeri and I've never cooked Gideri since I've lived alone. So I don't know what level of adulthood this is. And truly, truly, I don't know how I got here. But here I am, and it's fine. So this is something right now. <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow, for sure. <laughs> hey friend, uh, it is Tuesday morning. This is, I'm back from, I'm back from vacation. Huh? I got back on Sunday morning, Sunday at 4 a.m. I had such a great time. Right now I'm making breakfast. And I had such a rough couple of days, like the whole day Saturday, Sunday and yesterday. I was so tired, but still, I was still coming to terms with the fact that I'm coming back from vacation. A vacation that felt so surreal. Hold up. Yeah, making breakfast the vacation felt so surreal like i don't know that i've enjoyed a vacation that much in years this is among top two <laughs> top two it was i i think it's my favorite favorite one yet 
it's not even a top two it's my favorite vacation yet had such a blast such a good time yeah and uh, i did all the things i really really enjoy swimming and had had not been in a pool or in the ocean to swim in over two years and i was really looking forward to that and my body was just craving it i'm not a good swimmer at all but you don't have to be good at something to enjoy it you don't have to be a good singer to enjoy singing you don't have to be a good swimmer to enjoy swimming you don't have to be good at anything to enjoy it yeah you just have to enjoy it. that that's the basics those are the basics so uh, i think i'll be doing October. i don't know that i'll be posting daily but at least twice a week yeah twice a week should suffice because i don't know <laughs> i don't know what kind of content i want to create during this vlogtober because i don't think that i will do vlogmas let me try vlogtober yeah so i'm excited to be back kinda <laughs> to be back to make money so that i can go on another vacation soon so yeah, let me have bricky and then start my day because i was editing so my day has not yet really started so i'm having breakfast and then see what else to do during the day um you can also tell me what kind of content you'd like to see through throughout this october let me know let me know what you'd like to see if it's possible i'll definitely give it <laughs> right let me know what you'd like to see and get me in the comment section this is what i'm having for breakfast this is just eggs on bread toast yeah this is my one of my favorite breakfasts this is what I'm having, plus some bananas. <sighs> it is still the same day, but but now at night. <laughs> it's Tuesday night, and I'm about to have a bowl of gideri. Remember that beans? Uh, no, the beans I was... And the maize I was removing from the cob. Yeah, it made this gideri, and it is so delicious. I don't know why I had why i haven't been cooking there because let me tell you this slaps and then um i have this avocado to go with so it's gonna slap it will slap and i'm really looking forward to have this meal um it is about eight i, th I, I decided that i want to be having my meals early so that i can sleep in good time to give my body enough time to recover i want to you know um i don't know if you know this but women generally require more sleep than men because of our, our hormones and the, and the things that need to recover in our body i don't know if you know that men can do well with about seven to eight hours but women typically need about nine to was it eight to ten hours eight to ten hours of school of sleep for optimal optimal health so that means sleep early get enough uninterrupted sleep uninterrupted sleep yeah for optimal health and also you'll notice if you don't sleep well you're more, very very likely to gain weight you're very likely to have hormonal problems skin issues because your body is not getting enough time to recover so i want to help my body recover properly like my organs to recover because some organs I don't know you can do some research but organs require that time to rejuvenate for, for optimal functioning of the body so i want to eat in good time have time to meditate i will be honest i fell off the meditation wheel i think i didn't fall off i took a, a an intentional break from last week i took an intentional break from um meditating and journaling and in those in that about around one week that i've taken that break i can tell the differences between when i'm meditating and when i'm not meditating and journaling one of the differences is my mind goes on and 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 on, and on about things i should be doing this things i should not be doing like there's no calm and tra tranquility i don't have it right now i do not I, I won't lie i don't have it right now and I start to panic that my things are not working the way they should. I start to overthink and think of things I should be doing or overdoing. But when I'm meditating, I feel like things just flow. I even get video ideas very, very smoothly. But when I'm not journaling and meditating, some something, some things just don't click the way they should. Yeah. So I'm going back. I took a, a very intentional break. 
but now I'm going back starting day one again I'll start day one for as long as I've taken a break I'll keep starting day one day one day one I had gotten to almost 40 days so I'm starting day one again 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 and I will start for as many things as I need to start until one day I'll be 365 days of consistent meditation I believe that will happen and journaling and journaling as long as I don't keep taking breaks which was a very unnecessary break but I needed to see that difference between when I'm meditating and when I'm not meditating because I'll tell you this sometimes I really do gaslight myself and my experiences I think I was so used to being gaslit <laughs> that I started to doubt my own the things that I know so I needed to see it for myself and now that I have seen it I can go back confidently so yeah, let me I want to have this and then have <clears throat> yeah have this and then meditate and then sleep sleep and my sleep had started being so spotty like I'd wake up randomly during the night but it was hormonal I don't know what happened to my hormones or do I know something happened to my hormones so I'm trying to get them back back on track so that I can go back to regular sleep during the night because my sleep had become super super light I wasn't a light sleeper but the past month my sleep has been super super light and very very disturbed sleep <laughs> and I want to go back to smooth nights like uninterrupted hours of sleep so that's the mission for this month and also if you're Catholic you know this is the Marian month you should pray the rosary as many times as you can I want to also incorporate that into my daily routine as hard as it may seem for my mind to incorporate that I want to incorporate that I'd also stopped working out when when I left for the coast but it's because I had told myself I'd be swimming it worked but when I came back I didn't pick it up so I'll pick it up tomorrow so let's see let's see how things just flow so as I'm creating content I want to <coughs> to like pick up my daily routines because they were doing me a lot of good a lot of good so i'll definitely see you tomorrow for sure and let me know what you'd like to watch as i said i'm doing the vlogtober and that i won't do the daily vlogs i'll just do two vlogs a week so let me know what you'd like to see from me yeah engage me in the comment section hey friend how you doing so it is around 6 30 no like 6 15 and it's Wednesday, it's Wednesday evening. I'm about to make dinner. So I'm, I'm making some mashed potatoes. So I'm, I'm about to chop up some ingredients. And this is what I'm cooking. I'm cooking chicken. So this is chicken. I bought some chicken. There was an offer on car four. So I bought some chicken, chopped it and divided it into bags. So I'm, having, I'm cooking this. Cooking these two portions because I don't want to cook tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm cooking chicken and mashed potatoes today has been such a blessed day such a splendid day it's been such an easy day i've been um doing some things and also <coughs> catching up with this season of love is blind i there's something that's off really off with these couples this time it's not the same as the uk one it's really really not the same it's so different my god there's something that is totally totally off and um i don't know if i like it at first it was really really slow and hard to watch and now come to find out that from the you know how they they have the preview from for the next like for the next the next episodes that they'll drop everyone is having issues even my favorite couples are having issues like disturbing is, is anyone going to make it to the altar really anyway that's neither here nor there and yesterday I did manage to eat early and sleep earlier than usual. So that's a plus. I've woken up feeling so I woke up today feeling so amazing. I woke up even long long before my alarm and that's that's a blessing. <laughs> that's I'm blessed, I'm grateful. <sighs> I don't even know what I was saying. I have had to change the camera angle a little bit because <laughs> whatever I had placed the phone on top of it wasn't working, it kept sliding off. I don't remember the last time I cooked dinner this early, like, well, there's still daylight. <laughs> I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it because I enjoy cooking, I do enjoy cooking. 
and I want to be able to cook when <clears throat> when I'm not tired because usually when I start cooking siju like at seven or eight, I start getting tired in the middle of it. I don't like it, so I end up eating dinner when I'm tired. Sometimes I don't enjoy it as much because I'm in a rush to eat and go to bed. Anyway, um, hmm. I'm I'm back from the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've been back for, for a few days now, <laughs> as I said, but I truly, truly do believe that the ocean has healing, healing powers, like healing powers, because I went back and now I feel, okay, let me tell you this, after the Kesha, I came back feeling completely different, like there's something about me and about my body that, that just felt way more peaceful and I felt way more settled in my journey and in my life and I just felt bliss after the Kesha. This is just something that was different. I can't fully explain it. I can't put it into words exactly. Now, I went to the Kesha and then the week after I went to the coast and I've come back feeling way better. Like I'm sleeping better. My body feels way better. Like the pl places where I had aches and pains, I don't have aches and pains there anymore. I feel like some parts of my body were swollen, like my fingers. I don't think they're swollen anymore. Okay, I know they. I know they are not swollen anymore. So there, are, there are real healing properties in the ocean, and no one can convince me otherwise. No one, no one. <laughs> I don't care what you say, and I really do plan on being in the water and in the ocean as many times as I can. <laughs> I'm about to make that my my identity and my personality let me watch this and to affirm my beliefs there's this post i saw today randomly that was saying that being in the in ocean water specifically ocean water will help reduce reduce cortisol levels in your body cortisol is a hormone that is produced naturally in the body uh, it's mostly it's usually called the stress hormone it's produced nat naturally and sometimes when you're in a lot of, you're really really stressed like you're going you're stressed in your waking life your body produces way more of it and when your body produces a lot of cortisol it has huh, damaging effects to your body because this hormone normally it's helpful because when the <laughs> This hormone is helpful, cortisol, but in excess, it's harmful. Okay, let me tell you cases where it can be produced in excess and it's it's helpful. Okay, when you're being chased by a lion or, or a tiger, and your body your body produces cortisol. What cortisol does, it enables your body to re to release glucose into your bloodstream, and when glucose is in your bloodstream, it can be used for energy. And if a lion is chasing you, a lion or a tiger is chasing you, this energy will be used <coughs> to run or to, to, to do things that will help save your life. Uh, let's bring it back to our reality where we are not being chased by, by lions or tigers. When you're stressed, like you have a job that's stressful, you're in a relationship that's stressful, you have something that's stressful in your life. Your body is constantly producing high levels of cortisol. And what this does, the glucose is released in your body. And since you're not running away from anything because you're not in any real physical danger, this glucose ends up being converted to fat and it is stored in your body as fat. So you start, you know, there's, there's a cortisol phase. There's, if you Google a cortisol face, a cortisol body, you start having a face, you start looking swollen. You start looking like you're swollen right and i think <laughs> at some point in my life this year or the past year last year there was some there was some time i was looking swollen like my belly was looking swollen actually i was looking pregnant and my face was looking swollen and inflamed because my body was producing a lot of cortisol because i was constantly stressed makes sense so when we wake up we naturally have a lot of cortisol in the body to help us with the waking up and if you're already stressed, that means that's more cortisol. So what you can do in the morning, like the within the first two hours of waking up, you can work out. And that will help get rid of some of this cortisol. 
so that's something i've been trying to do <laughs> so i'll tell you for real for sure for sure i have not been succeeding most times but i feel like the other ways of <clears throat> getting rid of cortisol like you can google them i don't have them off the top of my head but you can definitely definitely google them so um, make your life easier you know the best way to to get rid of stress is to get out of the of the situation that's making you stressed because otherwise it just becomes a bandage but the wound beneath the bandage is just festering and festering if you don't find solutions to the things that are really really bothering you yeah so don't have um temporary solutions for things that could cost you a life down the line because some of these things we keep saying diabetes is a lifestyle disease um uh cancer i, be, I do believe cancer could be a, a lifestyle disease uh some types of cancer uh diabetes blood pressure all these lifestyle diseases we talk about lifestyle and people talk about eating poorly and all these things but not many people factor in stress because stress will kill you faster than anything else you could be eating the healthiest diet you have ever eaten in your life but if you are constantly stressed you are doing your body more harm than you can imagine so find um productive ways to manage stress and extend your life <laughs> and extend your life yeah as you find permanent solutions for the things that are constantly stressing you in the meantime you can find mindful ways to regulate the stress to make sure that as you're eating healthy and exercising and moving you're taking care of the thing that could lead to lifestyle diseases despite you being as healthy as you possibly can yeah <laughs> oh my god i think um that's it for today that's it for this vlog I'm really having a good time doing this vlog today um it's a short entry okay it's not short no, that's not true it's, it's eight minutes so far <laughs> i hope you're having a good day a good afternoon a good evening i hope you're enjoying your life truly truly I hope you can you can stand confidently and say that you're enjoying your life put yourself first choose yourself every day do things that make you happy every day even if that's what, what, what makes you happy taking a walk reading a page of a book watching your favorite series singing your favorite song like don't forget yourself you matter the most and i want you to be happy and i want you to win in this life because at the end of the you know at the at the end of the of the day no i don't want to celebrate alone i don't want to live a good life and celebrate alone i want you to be there with me celebrating right having lived a meaningful and productive life yeah <laughs> so i'll definitely see you in the next vlog which will be i'll be posting twice a week so i'll definitely see you in the next one i hope you've enjoyed this one <laughs> i'll be honest i don't know what the first two entries of this vlog entail because <laughs> i recorded them a while back a while back so i hope you do enjoy this vlog make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you haven't, go back to my videos and watch the rest of the vlogs, yeah? Catch up with my life. <laughs> I do enjoy making this content, so I do, have, I do hope and pray that you enjoy it. So thank you so much for being here. I'll definitely see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and stay hydrated.